So my name is Audrey and I'm an FCK from Singapore. But I live here in Manila in the Philippines. And my ministry at the moment is uh, doing research and advocacy on social issues as well as on the church in the Philippines. And I've been at FCK for two years, so I'm quite new. In, my, in the plan that I had for my life, like becoming a religious was never really on it. Uh, I always knew that I wanted to do some kind of social justice work. Um, but when I was working for the government as a lawyer, uh, I suddenly read two books that, uh, about people going into the convent. And it made me wonder for myself, like what would life be if I did the same? And at first I thought it was ridiculous because it's not really something that people do like in my culture at the time. Um, but the question wouldn't like, go away. So after a while, I decided maybe this is something that I should pray about and talk to people about. And I first met the SCJ sisters actually in Indonesia because uh, we don't have a community in Singapore. So uh, when I was looking at congregations, I knew that I wanted something with Indonesian spirituality. And when I went to Indonesia to meet them, I was struck by just how normal they are really because, you know, in my, in my mind, nuns are, you know, like, happy, it's very holy and praying all the time. But when I got to the SCJ community, I met sisters who were smart, who were funny, who were riding motorbikes around the town. And it was really nothing that I expected. And it really attracted me to see how passionate they were about their mission and also about the life that they to get them. When I joined the FCJs, I, I must say I don't really I didn't really understand what religious life was and probably I'm still growing into the understanding of it. But for me now I think it's definitely something that starts from God because the call is from God. And also it's sustained by God. God is the source of our energy, of our mission of our life really. and as a religious making vows uh, I what I intend is really to give all of myself to God but there is a joke you know that goes when we make our vows we give all our life to God and then we spend the rest of our life taking it back <laughs> yeah but yeah so it's a, it's a constant challenge to keep growing into the freedom that will allow God to do God's will in me and in such way to be a channel in which God helps to transform the world. Yeah, so to me at the moment, that's what we just talk about, of being free and growing in freedom to let God's will be done. God really is a God of surprises. And ever since I left home about almost six years ago now to join the FCJ Society as a postulant, I've been stretched in so many ways and surprised in so many ways. I've lived in two new countries, I learned two new languages, and I've fallen in love with places and with people that I couldn't have imagined before. I've been invited to walk with people from walks of life that I couldn't have imagined before. Those who suffer from destitution and from poverty, from loneliness or neglect, or those who struggle and work for justice and peace in our world. And in each of them, I've encountered really the human spirit that is gifted to us all in their yearning, in their hoping, in their loving. And it's really encouraged me and made my heart also grow, hopefully a few senses larger. And in this journey, I've also encountered God more and more as someone who is really companion and beloved who invites me to work with God in transforming the world. And I realised also it's not so much the work that I do that is important. Sometimes I fall into the trap or the temptation of just filling all my working hours with productive things like a hamster that's running on a treadmill. But perhaps one of the things I've realised is that it's the quality of presence, it's who I am that really matters. And maybe the best thing that I could do 
for God and also for others is just to cultivate peace within my people. A peace that overflows into compassion for others, into a loving energy in our world that is so much in need of healing and of peace. And so for those of you who might be thinking of religious life or might be searching for your way in life, I would say try, be open, be open to the possibilities. Especially for people from my own culture where like, religious life is never on anyone's agenda. Um, I used to think that you only became a nun if like, you couldn't make it in a career or you couldn't find a partner. But I realized how untrue that is and um, it's not a small life at all. Some people told me when I started that, why are you wasting all your time and your talent? But the journey has stretched me in so many ways, challenged me to grow into a greater freedom. And it is a counter-cultural life. It challenges me to a commitment to really live what I believe. And in that, I also receive so much of support and inspiration from my community, from those that I journey with, and much, much of joy. And I've also discovered that God knows me so much more than I know myself. It seems, as I look back, God has answered all of my desires in ways that I couldn't imagine, in ways that were so much better than I planned myself. And so I would encourage you just to trust God, to trust that God loves you, that God knows you. And if you feel an invitation to respond to God's call, a desire in yourself, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to try and to trust that God will lead you where you need to go. And so I pray both for myself and also for you, for the courage and the generosity to live this life that God has given to us ever more deeply and passionately and in so doing to make our unique contribution to the world that so much needs.